small additional question or more remark to you that is that you with your very courageous attitude towards the war in Vietnam how can you survive in an institution like MIT which is known here as one of the great war contractors and intellectual uh, makers of this war uh, there are two aspects to that one is the question how I'm how MIT tolerates me and the other question is how I tolerate MIT well as to how MIT tolerates me uh, here again I think one shouldn't be overly schematic uh, it's true that MIT is a major institution of war research but it's also true that it embodies very important libertarian values which are I think quite deeply embedded in American society fortunately for the world they're not deeply embedded enough to save the Vietnamese but they're deeply enough embedded to prevent far worse, worse disasters and here I think one has to be a bit qualified that is there is imperial terror and aggression there is exploitation there is racism lots of things like that but there's also uh, a real concern coexisting with it for individual rights of a sort which for example are embodied in the Bill of Rights which is by no means simply an expression of class oppression it is also an expression of the necessity to defend the, in, the individual against state power. Now, these things coexist, you know. It's not that simple. It's not just all bad or all good. And uh, it's because it's the particular balance in which they coexist that makes it, uh, that makes an institute that produces weapons of war be willing to tolerate, uh, in fact, you know, in many ways even encouraged, to be quite honest, uh, a person who's involved in civil disobedience against the war. Now, as to how I tolerate MIT, that raises another question. There are people who argue, and I've never understood the logic of this, that a radical ought to dissociate himself from all oppressive institutions. That is, the logic of that argument is that Karl Marx shouldn't have studied in the British Museum, which, if anything, was the symbol of, you know, the most vicious imperialism in the world, the place where all the treasures of empire were gathered, you know, the rape of the colonies was all poured in there, and so on and so forth. But I think Karl Marx was quite right in studying in the British Museum. He was right in using the resources and, in fact, the liberal values of the civilization that he was trying to overcome against it. And I think the same applies in this case. But aren't you afraid that your presence at MIT gives them a clean conscience? I don't see how, really. I mean, I think my presence at MIT serves marginally to I hope a lot, I don't know how much, to increase student activism against a lot of the things that MIT stands for, for example. 